So obviously, uh, uh, hyperfractionated radiotherapy become, a, uh, become increasingly popular as the time progresses. In ASCO, we have seen this morning, there was a, some uh, uh, updated outcome from toxicity point of view from PACE study, B study, which actually looking at the conventional radiation treatment versus uh, the stereotactic body radiotherapy, hyperfractionated radiotherapy. And obviously, we know that this is changing because from the, if you believe, in the, if you look at the cheap trial data, we showed that uh, modest hyperfractionation in 3 gear per fraction is as good to and standard fractionation, which actually is a pioneer study and more and more SBRT trials is ongoing and PACE B study result is quite promising. We have seen this morning that the difference of outcome, difference of toxicity, there was a none, so which is really encouraging. And again, one of the other aspects, so I think we are in a time that we need to focus more on the hyperfractionated radiotherapy. Obviously, there was a historical concern about the toxicity point of view. From the randomized trial, if we can prove the toxicities are at good at standard treatment, normal fractionation, it is a big bonus to the patient and the healthcare economy. If we can treat this patient in five fraction instead of 20 fraction and 37 fraction with the same outcome, same quality of life, undoubtedly will go for that one and it's much easier from the patient point of view and if you look for the health economic point of view it is a significant cost saving exercise and the money we can save we can utilize them more efficiently and the other aspect of the hyperfractionation radiotherapy is the high dose rate brachytherapy and which obviously again in UK we are still slightly lagging only few centers can capable of doing HDR brachytherapy like personally I used to deliver brachytherapy in a Northampton General Hospital. So in, if you look at the East Mo Midlands Cancer Center, there's a seven cancer centers. Only two centers are capable of delivering the HDR brachytherapy, and which is a well-established treatment for high-risk patient or combined treatment for high-risk patient with, along with external beam radiotherapy. And, and it comes with the excellent outcome with compared to external beam radiotherapy, maybe much better quality of life, but it is a quite underutilized resource. I think this is a time to focus on that aspect and we should uh, try more to expand our brachytherapy service and hyperfractionated service.